Schwarzenegger. I'm here today to do some fun bug themed yoga poses today. I don't know about you, but I'm excited that it's springtime and the bugs are starting to come back. I really love bugs. So we're going to talk about those and do some fun poses. All right. First, we'll listen to the bell. I have a different bell here today. Sounds a little different and your job is still to listen as long as you can. This helps get your mind ready to focus and pay attention. So if you are listening to the bell really carefully, you'll hear it for a long time. And then when you can't hear it anymore, either put a thumb up on your knee like this or take a deep breath. And be ready for the next directions. Here we go. Good listening. I also heard my tummy grumbling when I was listening to the bell, but then I kept listening to the sound. Great job. All right, so there are lots of fun bugs that we can pretend to be. One of the first bugs that I see while I'm going outside for my walks almost every day, at least when it's sunny like today, I see lots of little black and brown wiggly creatures that are called caterpillars. Caterpillar pose is like this, where you lay on your tummy and you zip your elbows in by your side, you zip your legs together, and then try lifting your hands, because caterpillars don't have hands. And then you wiggle side to side. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then caterpillars start to get a little bigger because they eat a lot of leaves and grass and things to help them grow. So you can press your arms up and come onto your knees and then press your knees off the floor, and then you're a big caterpillar that's eating a lot of food. You can still wiggle back and forth. Try to keep your tummy off the ground because it's getting rounder. Good. And then a caterpillar starts to wrap itself up into a special thing called a chrysalis. Some people also say the word cocoon. It depends if it's a moth or a butterfly. A butterfly goes into a chrysalis. So bring your hands back by your feet while you're sitting on your knees. And bring your head all the way down like you're wrapped up in a tiny little ball. Head resting down. And maybe you snooze and make some snoring sounds. Because then soon when the caterpillar's ready, it starts to emerge and stretch up and stretch up and it comes all the way into the shape and the actual form of a butterfly. So pressing your feet together while sitting on your bottom, you can spread your wings really wide like a butterfly soaring side to side through the bright, bright blue sky. You can put your thumbs together, flutter your butterfly wings, you could lean forward like you're flying down and then flying up and flying to the side and the other side. And now here's a special thing. Butterflies love to land on flowers. We're going to do flower pose too. Keeping your feet together, scoot them in a little bit. Take your hands underneath your legs. Now you need to lean back. So this takes a little bit of muscle. Lift your feet up, lean back, and put your fingers together like a beautiful flower. You can spread your toes, wiggle your toes, and then sit up nice and tall, like a tall, proud flower. Ready for a butterfly. Lovely job. All right, our next pose is the beautiful pose. It's red. It's a little bug that's red and it has black dots on it. That bug is a ladybug. Yeah, come on to your knees. We're going to bring our hands all the way out in front of us. 
and stretch down and then make your back nice and round like a ladybug. And these can be your little antenna. You can have your antenna up above your head like a ladybug. You can separate your knees a little bit so that your tummy goes in between your knees too. And keep your ladybug antenna up. Nice job. Now another one of my favorite bugs is a slimy one. And it's not just slimy though, it has a beautiful round shell on top. So it's slimy and it moves kind of slowly. And it's got that big shell where it lives, it's home. And that bug is called a snail. So we're gonna be a snail. Staying on your knees, you can come down and you're gonna put your head on the floor, but you also need to reach for your feet. So maybe reach for your feet first, then put your head on the floor and round your back like you have that snail home. You have a home for your snail to live. So you can think slimy thoughts and kind of wiggle side to side. Be gentle on your head. Good. And come all the way back up. Nice job. I love snails. They're so cute. All right, our next bug that we're going to do is one that some friends are a little afraid of. It has not two, not four, not six legs. It has eight. Do you know what bug this is? It's of course a spider. So come on to your feet. We're gonna start with our feet kind of wide. Then we're gonna bend our knees and come all the way down into a squat. But before we come all the way further, take your hands underneath and behind your knees and then out to the side. And then you're a spider with as many legs as you can find. You can wobble back and forth. Some friends even like to try to move around like this. That's kind of tricky for me, but you can try. So wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like a spider. You could also just keep your hands on the floor here next to your feet for spider pose. Good job. All right. Now a hopping bug. You might have heard of this type of bug. You might have seen them if you ever walking through the swishy tall grass and you're walking and then all of a sudden you see Boing, boing, boing. Those little bugs are called grasshoppers. They hop through the grass. So we are going to be grasshoppers today. Come onto your belly and your hands right by your shoulders. So your elbows are bent. Now, here's the fun part. Take one leg and lift it straight up. Not like this, like this. Take your other leg and put your foot on top so you can slide your foot up to your knee and help lift your leg up nice and straight. Huh, nice grasshopper pose. All right, let's do it another way here. Take your other leg straight up. You can either keep your leg up in the air or use your other foot to help press it up even further. Look forward and squeeze your elbows together. Good job. All right. Nice work. Now, another fun bug that I don't think I've actually ever seen outside in real life is, is a bug that can hide really well in the trees or in the branches because it looks like a branch itself. It's so good at camouflaging that it's named after the thing that it looks like. This is called a stick bug. Now a stick bug has lots of sticky limbs, okay? They're kind of straight and then they're kind of angled. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn one side, put your foot over your knee. Now the same leg that's straight, you're gonna take that hand onto the floor a little bit behind you. Come on to your hip. So you're facing knee, leg straight, other foot is bent. Other hand is underneath your shoulder. Take your opposite hand, you're gonna reach up and press up. Now we've got a lot of stick-like limbs and you could even camouflage yourself in the tree if you look like a stick. Good, so use your foot to press up. Keep your body nice and straight. Good job. All right, let's do it on the other side. So swing your legs around the other way. One leg straight, other foot over your knee. Same arm as your straight leg goes underneath your shoulder, 
Oxa hand reaches up. Press your foot into the floor and lift your hips up. Stick bug. Ooh, nice chop. Excellent. All right, our next one is a balancing bug. Now this is a bug that flies in the air and it has a very round shape for its backside. It flies through the air at night and it starts to light up. Bing, bing, bing. That bug is called a lightning bug or a firefly, as we say in Minnesota. We're gonna be a firefly. Take your hand to your foot or to your ankle this is going to be the part of your body that lights up. So you can keep it right here, reach your other hand up, like you're going to be flying really high in the sky. Or you can press your foot and make that shape nice and round. Okay, balance steadily. If you start to fall, just put your foot down so you don't get hurt. Come back in and try again. Again, you can stay here. If you're wobbly, press your foot down. Press your other foot back. Good. Let's do the other side. So come on to your other, other leg. Reach for your other foot or ankle. Hand up. Press your foot back. Look at one thing to help yourself balance. Nice job, fireflies. Reach. Whoa. Good job. Beautiful. All right, another beautiful flying bug is one that has long wings. Not just one set of wings, but it has another set of wings. So it has four wings, and then it has a really long tail. This is a dragonfly. So spread your arms like wings, spread your tail, press your tail out behind you, and start to lift it up like you're flying through the sky. You can soar side to side. You can keep your tail lower to the ground if that helps you balance. And soaring. Beautiful dragonflies. Let's do our other leg. So put your other leg out like a tail. You can put your arms up further like wings. You can flap your wings. Dragonflies are really cool because they can move in any direction. Up and down and side to side. Woo! <laughs> Good job. All right, our last bug today is one bug that sometimes gets stuck on the ground, upside down. And this little bug is a beetle. So sometimes you might see one of these hanging out on the, on the grass or in the, in the sidewalk, and it's upside down because it flipped over and it has its little feet in the air. So you can grab onto your little feet, bend your knees and pull them into your body. And wiggle like a flip beetle, beetle bug. Back and forth, and back and forth. Wibble wobble, breathing. Mm. One more breath. Good job, beetle bugs. Wonderful. Come all the way up, back to sitting down, crisscross. And we'll take some nice, nice deep breaths together. You can do butterfly breathing with your hands, where you start with your hands low, your thumbs together, and as you breathe in, you reach your butterfly wings up, and then back out. Or, if you want to, you can do a special kind of breathing called bumblebee breath. Bumblebees have a nice humming sound. So when you breathe in, and breathe out on a hum, you sound like a bee. You can start high and go low. You choose how you want your breaths to be while I lead you in the breathing ball. When it opens up, take a breath in and then a breath out. We'll do four more. Mm. 
great job today. I hope you loved all these bug poses. I hope you're having a fabulous day, staying safe, staying healthy, and doing your yoga. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye.